Hello, we're going to play around with the Carbamite mod. I'm going to show you this mod, I'll explain what it is, and show you how powerful it is. So Carbamite is sort of a replacement for Keythane. It does the same thing as Keythane. Um, you can use both at the same time, and that sort of thing, but Keythane is known for its very restrictive practices. The devs really keep a tight hand on it, whereas this is a community mod that is largely open source. I think it might be completely open source, um, but either way, it's, uh, it's a very, very nice mod, even at this relatively early stage. The Carbamite mod is built to allow you to operate, uh, you know, you get Carbamite and you turn it into various kinds of fuels on faraway planets, same way as Keythane, but it also includes a number of jet parts, and these are incredibly powerful. Uh, so this is very, very early in the tech tree. I don't even own wheels yet, okay? So, what makes this plane so good? Well, first off, all of the uh, tanks empty at the same rate, which means that your fuel doesn't shift, and you don't have to worry about uh, any kind of problems with that happening. Uh, the next thing that's really powerful about this mod is that the jet engines are really overpowered. They burn a lot of fuel, but their thrust is more than double the same, uh, the same category of engine uh, in the stock engine parts. The third thing that makes them very powerful is that these low-altitude scoops are not actually low-altitude at all. They work uh, until into a very, very, very high at altitude. About uh, 25k they start to run dry, but I've, I've been running them at like 30,000. There's just not really much of a limit anywhere. Uh, you can see that we just ran out, and there's the last cool thing about them. The last cool thing about them is that they have a giant stock of air within them. They don't have just 0.02 or whatever. Instead, they fill up these internal tanks. And you can see that although we are technically not running our engines and we're way above, we are still gaining a little bit of scooped air. And we can use that in space uh, as sort of a reserve fuel. Not very much, but a little bit. And you can see that this took us up to 187,000 meters. So this is an extremely powerful tool if you're creating space planes. And if you're not creating space planes, why? First time I've used that toy. So I've got a number of pieces of science, but I'm not sure that I actually need any of it. Yeah. I didn't really do this for the science. I just I just did it to, to show you. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and burn along our orbit. Uh, we're not going to be able to, to, to circularize. Um, that would be... Uh, that would take, you know, a couple thousand air, and we've only got 33. So I'm going to show you how quickly this air runs out, but also how useful it might be in a pinch. Pretty nice, huh? So this is Space Planes with Carbamite. If you haven't tried the mod out, I recommend you go download it. It adds a lot of life back into Kerbal, and I haven't even gotten off the planet yet. This is, uh, this is very, very low tech level. So I really recommend that you go give Carbamite a try. Um, and total props, complete props to everyone who worked on this. It is a wonderful mod, although I think it might be a little overpowered. Um, but it's just a wonderful mod.